Hey, what's up guys? Since some are asking on how I undervolt my GM501, I will try to show you how, but this is kinda do it at your own risk type of thing. And I am not in any way responsible if I may break your unit. But undervolting isn't by any means harmful to your unit, but it can cause BSODs if you are not giving enough voltage to your CPU. So I suggest do it in small increments until you reach a sweet spot setting. Uh, currently, there are two common programs that will undervolt your CPU. The Intel's XTU and Throttle Stop. Before, I was using the Intel's XTU. Using the program was very easy. Open up the app and all you need to do is choose this setting and go negative to undervolt. Do not go positive or a higher value than zero as it would be overvolting or giving more voltage to your CPU, thus resulting to higher temps. So I suggest you do increments of maybe 5 to 10. So you start with negative 0 0.010 volts or negative 10 millivolts. Then apply settings. At this moment, try to get your CPU to adapt the setting. You can do stress tests games or anything that uses the CPU. If it worked and no stutter or you feel nothing happened, then it is a good thing. And it's time to go a little bit lower. Then try 20, 30, 40 until you find that sweet spot. My XTU settings were negative 85 millivolts, but eventually I got back to negative 65 millivolts, as this setting was giving me a much more stable clocks. Uh, this somewhat decreases my temps a little bit. Again, do not jump directly to like negative 100 millivolts, for it is safer to do it in small increments. And that's how you do it with XTU. On to the second program which is throttle stop and the one which I am currently using. So on these settings, the default active settings are taskbar, speed step, and C1E. For me, I disabled taskbar and enabled speed shift, EPP, and BD proc hot. I think enabling this one controls your clocks. Currently, you have the default of 1 to 8. Values allowed here is from 0 to 255. When you have 0, you will be giving your CPU the maximum performance, while the opposite gives the minimum. I usually give my CPU half of the 1 to 8, so 64. Sometimes I go up 72. I am not quite sure, but giving 0 gives a maximum performance, but it raised the temp as well. Just a little bit though, but I prefer the values of 64 to 72 since I still get 3.6 GHz to 3.9 GHz. For the BD proc hot, if this one is enabled, it will prevent your CPU from getting too hot. That's it for the settings. Now to undervolt, go to FIVR and on the FIVR control, on the CPU core, tick unlock adjustable voltage just like the XTU you may want to try using small increments and next go to the CPU cache again tick adjustable voltage if you will be using negative 10.7 millivolt core try to do negative 10.7 millivolt for the cache too it is up to you if you want to save the settings immediately if this is saved, this will be your settings the next time you turn on throttle stop. So for now, I suggest remember what your current settings and just do not save voltages until you got your best settings. Then do the increments. For me, I use negative 71.3 millivolts for the core and negative 50.8 for the cache. So, 
other 8750H laptops reach a negative 150 millivolt undervolt which is pretty awesome. Looking at their results, they boost their performance a lot while the Sephiroth only has a minimal undervolt window. So click OK and that is it. If you look at the system tray, if throttle stop is red, it means it is turned on. If it is green, only the program is on but it is not doing the undervolt settings. So click turn on. Lastly, if you will be using throttle stop and you want the program to run at startup, all you need to do is open task scheduler. Create a basic task, then name it whatever you want with the description you need. then next then choose when the computer starts sometimes this won't work so just change it to when i log on one of these will work then start a program then locate your throttle stop directory and before clicking finish make sure you check this one uh, on this tab choose run with the highest privileges then configure for windows 10 or what your OS is. Then on this tab, seems correct. This tab also seems correct. Uncheck everything here for the conditions and for the settings, only check this one. And that is it. Click OK. And it should run on startup. Well, that is my throttle stop settings. Again, do this at your own risk. This may or may not work on your CPU. So if this doesn't work, Maybe repasting it would be the last option, and I can't help you with that. Hey, what's up guys? Make sure to subscribe. Peace!